On November 21st, 1995, I was but a wee lad. Two uni students decided, hey, Photoshop is expensive. Let's make something better and make it free. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how they, yeah, you're how they probably came up right. with the idea. Yeah, you're probably right. It would become the GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's an image editing suite, a software tool that's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Yay. Now, 20 years later, here we are. 20 years. Holy moly. 20 years has gone by. Woo. Time flies. And they still have an incredible roadmap of features that we are to expect. I mean, they are at 2.8.16, I believe. They are working oh. on 3.0, and they haven't even brought out 2.9 <laughs> yet. And then they are excited that they are going to be working toward um, taking things like uh, um, non-destructive editing. Making that a part of the game. That's something I'm excited about. That's something to come. Like, they are still developing this thing That's cool. 20 years later, and it's absolutely free. Free! It has become a robust, complete suite of software for doing image editing, color correction, cool graphic effects. Did I mention it's free? You can get it at gimp.org, G-I-M-P <laughs> dot org. Download it for your platform right there. Do it. So I figured because the GNU image manipulation program has given us 20 years of free image editing software, mm -hmm. why don't we take 20 weeks to give you GNU image manipulation program tips? Sounds good. So to beginning me. tonight, we're going to kick it off with number yeah. one. And <laughs> we're going to learn to change the color of any bright object mm. in five seconds flat. What? I'll probably take a little longer to explain Stretch it. Stretch it out, Robbie. We got to fill the rest <laughs> of the show here. <laughs> once you once you've got it down, once you've got the process down, that's all it's going to take. <laughs> okay. We're, we're going to get Fair online. Enough. I need a picture to work with. We are taking this right from the scratch. We are okay. taking this right from scratch. We are going to do this like we were doing it at home, and in real time, no post production editing nope, or anything like it. that. This is the real deal, folks. I'm going to head on over to Google and go to image search because, hey, it works. Yep. It's pretty Let's decent. Let's find us a pic here. Let's find us a picture. Okay. So in Google image search, I'm going to type in blue car. Blue car. All right. Blue car. All right. That's a blue car. Next That's step. Blue car. Because we're broadcasting this on the air, we're going to go search tools, usage rights. And if you're using this for your website or anything, any kind of presentation, you want to do this. Labeled for reuse with modification. That means that this image is licensed for me to use for free. And I can show this to you on the air. And I probably won't get sued. And if I do, it's okay because I've shown that, that we have the rights to, to use this. To do it that way, yeah. yeah. Okay, so hey, there's a blue car. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> cool. I like it. All right, so attribution, what are we looking at as far as... Okay, the author of this image is Patrick Nohayer, and I appreciate you putting up this image and allowing us to use this, Patrick. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so we're going to grab this picture here, look at it full size. Let's save this to our computer. I'm just going to drop this into a temp folder, slash TMP. I'm using the GNU image manipulation program tonight on a Linux computer. Again, it works on Windows, it works on Mac, so I don't care what platform you're on. It's about freedom. <laughs> you can use the GIMP on any platform, you all right? You can, you can. That's, that's the deal, because that's how we roll. No pun intended, because we're working with cars. Oh, okay. you are a pun master. Today. Oh, the pun master. I'm sorry, but we just got banned in China. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm going to jump into the temp oh, folder. Oh, man. Where's my blue car? There it is. There All right. Right-click on it. Open with the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Here it comes. Let's get out of that. GIP 2.8. Now, I don't even have the latest and greatest version that was released earlier this week. I'm going to convert the colors. All right. So, first of all, I don't like... Oh. Oh, dear. I just locked my whole system out. Oh. I'm so kidding. I accidentally... This is why we do things live on the air to show what... I hit control, <laughs> control on. alt L because I am also a Photoshop user, and so that's that brings us to something about oh, GIMP. Oh dear! You gotta, I gotta learn. I have to learn. You have to learn too that there are different color, uh, different key commands. 
but it's okay. What I wanted to do was bring <laughs> up levels, of course. If you're a yes. Photoshop user, you know what I was looking for. Okay, colors, levels. Does it tell me what it is? Colors, levels. Don't worry, that's going to be one of our features is key, uh, keyboard shortcuts for GIMP. I'm going to just improve this a little bit. I'm going to bring that up. These are the highlights right there. And you see how they drop off right there, Hill? Mm -hmm. That means that there, it's, that's kind of where the, the highlights begin in this picture. So having the, the little triangle there, oh, right, yes. bringing it in, is going to brighten that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Shadows are starting at about the right point. Uh, but now I want to just brighten it up a little bit. This is with the Levels tool. See how much of a difference that makes to my image? Beautiful. Okay, so we want to take this car and we want to make this red. How would we typically do that? Like, would we, would we paint it? Seems like too much work. Oh, it would be a huge <laughs> amount of work. So am I going to go through here and yeah, go like yeah, this? Oh yeah, there you and go. how cheesy is that going to look? Oh, and I'm and covering it up. and it's, Oh, I just colored outside of the lines. No way. That ain't happening. Watch this. Let's make a new layer. Okay. All right, it's a transparency layer, so we can put anything on here, and then when we turn off that layer, it goes away. Disappears. See like that? it. Good job. Do you love it? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Down at the bottom, there's this hidden little tool that allows us to toggle quick mask mode. First of all, I want to select none. Everything's a right click, select none, because I had accidentally selected something there. Okay. So by clicking on that toggle quick mask, which it shows the command is shift Q. Okay, so I can do that that way as well. So shift Q. And then grab your paintbrush and start painting in the car. That's time consuming. It's going to take you forever, mm -hmm. right? So we're going to, I'm going to show you how we can do this really, really quick. What did I say? How long is it going to take? You said five seconds. Do you so think it's possible? I believe you. We shall see if you can pull it off or not. About to blow your mind. <laughs> All right. So I've got this new layer here. Watch what I can do now. I'm going to change the layer mode to hue. Okay. Mode hue. And I've got that transparent layer highlighted. I've cleared it. It's blank. Now I've got red selected. I can click on any color. I can make this yellow. I can make it red. I can make it blue. And then I can change the size of my brush because I've selected the paintbrush tool here. <clears throat> and as I change the size of my brush, look at what happens to my marquee to show the size of that brush, the scale. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. Ready? Now okay, color. There we go. All right. I see something what happening. What am I doing? Something's going on. I have, I have a selection. Gah! <laughs> Look at Oh, there we go. Okay, that's better. I had a selection where I had dragged my mouse over. See, trouble, trial, trial and error. Live television. Unbelievable. People. Look at that. It's okay. A brand new car. I don't believe it. There we go. How crazy. All right, so now that's, that's what okay, I've actually okay, painted. Okay. It's a hue layer, so it recolorizes that. So what we need to do is now right-click on that painting that I just created and go uh, alpha to selection. And that shows me where I painted outside of the lines. Okay? So I'm going to grab the eraser tool right here, make it a slightly smaller brush. It, uh, how big it's going to be is going to depend on the resolution of the image. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to simply delete from my red. Now see if I go over the line, watch what happens. It turns back to blue. Oh. So all I'm doing is I'm just removing that little bit around the edge where I've gone over. There's a little bit on the bumper. See that? There shouldn't be any red on the bumper. So I'm just going to kind of remove that. Although there is a little bit of a blue reflection. But So I can touch that up. I can clean it up. Don't need to color the wheel. And you notice that it didn't really do anything to the wheels. It's because they don't contain a bright color. Interesting. Okay, so if I want to color any object, and we're using cars here as the example, it's a fun little way to do it. Um, it could be a lamp, it could be uh, anything. We use this technique if, um, for example, we're selling product. Teeny drones is a good example. So we yeah. take a picture of a red one, and we make it blue, and we make it black, and then we didn't have to take a whole bunch of pictures. It's just a nice, quick, yeah. dirty way to get pictures up of Smart. various colors. So there you have it.
There is a red car. Let's change Let's it de-select. again. Let's deselect. Or is it a blue car? I don't know. How quick was that? Okay. You don't believe me yet. Let's start with a red car. Because we all like red sports cars, right? Yeah. Hello. Red car is my search. And again, search tools, usage rights labeled for reuse with modification. Let's find the coolest one that we can find. I like picking one. Like, I could go with something like that. But you know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have a background. So I'm not really demonstrating yeah. for you how effective this method is. I really want to show you that, hey, we can, we can do this in any scene. Um, do you see one that really stands out to you, Hill? I'd like to find one. I was going to say, really I don't even scene. know car names. Yeah. I'm like, oh, pick the red car. <laughs> They're all red. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Well, let's jump back up to the top here. Don't want to get into anything obscure. Uh, and let's just say, I guess this one is. Sure. That one's pretty decent, eh? Sure. Okay. So let's visit the page and let's see what uh, this is Creative Commons. Uh, free for personal and commercial use. No attribution required. So to the author of that, thank you for providing this image. Nice Audi, a red Audi. Um, we don't have to attribute, and we don't know the attribution. But it's <laughs> not required because of the license. And Google helps us to determine the license, and that's really helpful. Thank you, Google. Okay, so this is a red car. Again, ah, oh, I did it again. Oops. I... <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I'm such a bald nerd. So he's a bald nerd. That's I know. for sure. Okay, right click. I'm gonna figure it out, and I'm gonna I, we're gonna cover it in a future show. Levels, because I know Anthony's wondering. Hey, what are the hotkeys? Okay, so I'm just gonna fix up the levels a little bit here. Okay. Looks good. I don't want it to go orange. I want it to stay red. It's just got a little bit too much shadow at the front. That's a photo flaw, and so we're just kind of touching it up a little bit. Okay, so. Let's create a new layer. Notice I'm not going to create any marquee that's going to make it not work. Now I'm going to choose, what do you want to do? Let's do yellow. Let's take this beautiful red car and make it yellow. Okay. I'm going to change that blank layer mode to hue. I'm going to change the brush size to something that seems reasonable for this size image. And I'm going to start painting. Oh. I, can, I can go outside the lines. Okay. I love that. I'm not having to be precise by any stretch. Ba ba da ba da da do 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 done. Okay, so now turn off that layer to see what I've painted. Mm -hmm. I missed part of the grill. Doesn't really matter because it's not got a yeah, color. Yeah. Notice that it didn't change black to yellow because it doesn't do that. It looks for color and changes it to a different hue. So now I want to add an alpha to selection to see where I've gone outside of the lines and then use the eraser tool with a smaller brush size and go around the edge and delete anywhere where I've accidentally colored things yellow that shouldn't be. So I'm going to go around here. I do not have to be precise. You'll be able to gauge this and it's going to be different on a per image basis and that's done. I can pull some of the yellow out of the um, oh, window. Oh, yeah. See how the window got tinted a little bit? Mm -hmm. I can pull that out because that doesn't make any sense to the image. There we go. And Much right better. There. Oh, I got a little bit on the mirror. There we go. Okay, so select none. There's the image. That's what I've come up with. And ready for the original? Whoa. There it is. A red car turned yellow. And again, we're using cars as the example tonight because I thought it'd be fun. But you can do this with anything that has bright colors. A prom Doesn't dress. There you oh, go. Oh, I wish I had Is a... it gray or is it purple? You be the judge. <laughs> It'd be fun. <laughs> For real. There you have it, folks. This is Category 5 Technology TV. That's how to colorize a bright object. Love Change it. Change the color of a bright object in about five seconds. Doesn't take any time at all. And you will woo quick. your friends. And woo your customers as you are able to change things. On, uh, on future episodes of this series, this is 20 tips for the GNU mm -hmm, Image Manipulation mm -hmm. Program. 20 weeks of tips at that. Uh, we are also going to be covering how to remove things, objects from images. Actually pull them out of the image while retaining a background. But how is that possible? How can I take out a sign from a field and all of a sudden it's filled, like you see the field? that was previously yeah. blocked by a sign. 
I'd like to know how to do that. How do you remove an awkward boyfriend from a family photo or something? We're going to cover it all. Yeah. We're going to cover it all, folks. So don't miss the series. (laughs) Tune in again next week, and we're going to have more tips for the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Thank you to the developers for bringing us such a great tool. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely free. Get it at GIMP.org.